These were the faces of a new political order. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 communist leaders. For this list, we looked for political revolutionaries and communist leaders who had a major impact on the emergence and growth of communist states throughout the world in the 20th century. Number 10, Che Guevara. This iconic guerrilla revolutionary died for his Marxist ideals. Born in Argentina, Guevara trained as a doctor but turned to social activism after witnessing the brutal living conditions of poor Latin Americans. A political activist in Argentina and Bolivia, Che turned to military action, fighting alongside Fidel Castro in Cuba. As an advisor to Castro's guerrilla army, Che was essential in the establishment of the West's first communist state. Que no se puede confiar en el imperialismo, pero ni tantito así. Nada. Number 9, Nikita Khrushchev. After making a splash by denouncing his predecessor, Joseph Stalin, upon gaining power, Khrushchev worked to improve his population's quality of life, allowing for greater levels of cultural and intellectual freedom. Despite having brought the world to a standstill during the Cuban Missile Crisis, Khrushchev traveled throughout the world, promoting a policy of coexistence between East and West, a policy that provided a brief thaw during the Cold War. That's what we're telling you. Don't be afraid of ideas. We have nothing to fear. The time has passed when ideas scared us. Number 8. Ho Chi Minh As North Vietnamese president and leader of the country's Communist Party, Ho fought against French colonial rule and led his people in bloody war with the Americans. After being raised as a Confucian and traveling the world in his youth, Ho embraced socialist ideology as a tool for change. Utilizing communist ideals to embolden a national revolution, Ho united his country and ushered in an era of Vietnamese self-government. Number 7. Mikhail Gorbachev An open critic of his communist predecessors, Gorbachev helped welcome the end of the Cold War and of communism in Eastern Europe. Promoting a more open and economically progressive nation, Gorbachev championed discussion and political debate within Russia and other satellite states. Most significantly, he abolished the Brezhnev Doctrine's demand for single-party communist states, opening the door for the legalization of unions, various political parties, and, subsequently, free elections. Though my pronunciation may give you difficulty, the maxim is, dovayai no provayai, trust but verify. <laughs> <laughs> you repeat that at every meeting. <laughs> Number 6. Fidel Castro Castro is an iconic figure of the Latin American socialist movement. In the 1950s, he spearheaded a military campaign against the dictator Fulgencio Batista with only 81 men. Despite a brutal defeat, Castro continued his fervent military and propaganda campaign and soon, his 800-man guerrilla force and Batista's 30,000-man army had their final conflict. Castro emerged the victor, establishing the communist rule in Cuba that remains today. Fidel, are you a communist, Fidel? Well, well, wait for the history. The history will take what we are. Number 5. Leon Trotsky A supporter of Lenin's radical communist mandate, this spellbinding orator and Marxist champion played a key role in the Bolshevik usurpation of Russian political power. As a Red Army general and a phenomenal political strategist, Trotsky made essential contributions to the establishment of Lenin's leadership in the USSR. Considered Lenin's obvious successor, Trotsky was outmaneuvered by Joseph Stalin's cunning politicking and was eventually assassinated while living in exile. Stalin was right to be frightened of his great opponent. Today, he is reviled, but Trotsky is still revered by many as the man who might have led the Soviet Union into a less dreadful future. Number 4. Mao Tse-tung Mao united China's 550 million inhabitants within one strong, centralized state. Supported by China's peasantry, Chairman Mao expelled all foreigners and established a new society along communist lines. Like many other communist dictators, Mao is a divisive figure. 
Though his rule saw the death of millions as a result of famine, forced labor, and murder, he is credited with establishing China as a major world power. Number 3. Joseph Stalin Stalin rose to power by establishing strategic alliances within the Communist Party and ruthlessly eliminating opposition. As a dictator, he ruled the USSR with an iron fist, industrializing the state through a rigorous top-down consolidation of peasant farms into state-run enterprises and rapidly implementing industrialization countrywide. Though Stalin's rule over communist Russia was one of the most brutal and bloody ever, he grew the Eastern Bloc to be the only rival in size and stature to the United States of America's influence over the Western world. My name is Ronald Reagan. Last year, the contributions of 16 million Americans to the crusade for freedom made possible the World Freedom Bell, symbol of hope and freedom to the communist-dominated peoples of Eastern Europe. Number two, Karl Marx. The father of modern socialism, Marx and his partner Friedrich Engels' Communist Manifesto was a powerful critique of modern capitalism, calling for the working class to seize the state, abolish private property, and establish socialist societies. Marx's work had little impact when it was first published. However, with massive economic shifts brought on by industrialization, Marx became the voice of the working man inspiring communist revolution first in Europe and later throughout the world. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number one, Vladimir Lenin. Vladimir Ilyich Ulyanov, better known as Lenin, was the driving force behind the Russian Revolution. An unabashed political radical, Lenin called upon Russia's working class to rise up against the wealthy and establish a socialist society. Offering them peace, bread, and land, Lenin galvanized the Russian proletariat, spawned a bloody revolution, and established the first ever communist state with himself as its fearless leader. <laughs> Do you agree with our list? Which do you think have been the most influential communist leaders in history? For more historical top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com. And that's a fair bargain. Look, 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 look.